So, day one of Rita's training to become a tanky, and it's paperwork to start with, learning operational procedures on how to look after and maintain the fleet before she goes and does first parade on the APCs. Is that a little go on the Abbott? We'll get into that in a bit. And as you can see, Chieftain's prepping in the background ready for its first drive out. Yeah. So, how do you find the site so far? So far, I'm liking it. That is the best. There's no better way to study. Look at that, yeah, exactly. So here we are. There was a bit of a mission getting here, and there was some problems with buses and a taxi driver that was uh, a little bit greedy and dropped yeah. us off in a field. Yes. Thieving little pirate, but we made it. And Rita is hard, hard at work. So while she's doing that, I'm going to go and film some other toys. <laughs> there she is. Chieftain prepping herself to take out some folks. Listen to that engine. It's not as sexy as a meteor, and it rarely works. But when it does, the Leyland L60's got a little bit of oomph to it. It's gonna go down there. I don't know if you can see with that uh, early sunshine, but going around the course here, we've got the Abbot, just coming up there with people on the top, and behind it, following up is the FE432, and uh, that's the one that Rita will be doing work and inspection duties on. It's one of the best vehicles you can learn to drive that. Absolute little gem, 432. up in her little monkey suit. She's going to get ready to work with our chat Bobby here, maybe on the Stormer, maybe on the Abbott. So here's Rita and she's just learning the art of changing oil. And she's been instructed here by Robbie man with about 30 years service behind him working on these vehicles. Various abbots running around the tracks. We've got another beautiful little abbot right there. Absolutely beautiful machines to work on. Say something for the camera. What? Say something for the camera. Something. Hello, camera. <laughs> we are checking the oil. Yeah? What's, what's he showing you? All full. All full? Yes, all is good. All is good. That you, is good, yeah. Can you memorize where the oil things are? Yes. One, one is right here at the left of the driver. Yeah. And then another at the left, in the left panel. And uh, there's another here. Excellent. Well done. Keep that in your head. Useful yep. lesson. Yep. And yes, Rita will be learning to drive one of these machines in a bit. Probably this one itself. <laughs> uh, are you having fun? <laughs> I think that answers it. <laughs> Dwayne Dibble so This is Rita and Robbie in the fourth V2. And he's now got a special little gadget which they're using to do some oil changes. Can't really see too much in there. And I'm perched on the edge holding jingles as a rather expensive camera. And I don't want to drop it because he'll beat me with my own severed arm. So what Robbie's teaching her here is 
the actual essential know-how of how to work a 432. Now you can come here and get a very basic lesson on you know, how to drive around an arena, but what they're going to be doing is teaching Rita the actual full fullness to work one of these machines, how to drive it professionally and properly. And uh, to do that, you need to know how it works from top to bottom. That's what she's learning at the moment. A little Portuguese tank ace. So, this is the inside of the Stormer. It's quite spacious. You can see the familiarity. You've got the driver up there, top left. Engine behind that panel over there, top right. Commander's position there. Room for various things, including extra missiles here. That. Pew, 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 pew. Absolute little beast. I do like this vehicle. I think it looks absolutely stunning as uh, sort of modern day things go. So, what have you learned then, Rita? Apart from the Ministry of Silly Walks. <laughs> and you're getting there. Um, pretty much the handbrake <laughs> Yeah? And uh, to steer it, which is very simple. Yep. I already had observed the other gentleman driving around. I already had put a few things on it, but now I know. How to it's not complex, is it? It's a lovely oh, little wow. machine to drive the 432. Oh, so you're looking forward to having a go in it in a bit? Of course. Of course you are. Okay. Cool. Uh, halfway down the straightaway. Okay. With just a little bit of road brake just to finish it, and you've done it. Okay? okay. If you pull the brake lever on, pull it on all the way around the corner, all you do is pull the hydraulic fluid heat the brake bands up and then the steering and the brakes become ineffective. Okay. But you will get used to that experience. So, uh, start the engine? Yeah. Put it, put it into gear. Put it into gear, okay. And just pull a little bit back, just to release the locks. Not, not no, the just pull them. Okay. Yeah, the buttons pop up yeah. and the sticks go all the way forward. Normal okay. driving position. Okay. When you want to turn right, pull the right stick back. Turn left, the left stick and when you go around the corner as I say we're driving now you're driving we're going to do a right turn pull the right brake on turn the vehicle okay. to go across the apex and then finish the corner just by trimming the vehicle just to finish the turn and, uh, always, accelerating a bit, or always accelerating? down the gas okay. always down okay. the gas so when you want to stop the vehicle no gas and pull both sticks back together okay and when you do that, expect the vehicle to do this, okay, because it does, all right? So if you want to stop the vehicle, off the gas and pull both sticks back together. If you pull a stick back and nothing happens, pull a little bit harder, and if you need to, use two hands. Sometimes I do, okay, just because it's more comfortable, all right? So, uh, don't take the hands. <laughs> So. I'm anxious. Yeah? <laughs> yes. Can you remember what you were saying? Yes. Yeah. Much engine starts, pull, let the click. Yeah. And then. So go back, forwards. And then accelerate. And then yeah. you go to the right, right. Go so to the in. Left, left. Peter's just doing the uh, first parade in the vehicle, which, uh, apart from checking oil and temperature, is a visual inspection to make sure that she is happy with the machine. And this is an essential part of being a tanky and doing it properly, is to make sure the machine you're driving is in good nick. There we go. Just going to get inside the driver's compartment. Sit down for now. And hopefully she'll remember what she's told. Gear back, pop, forwards, gas.
she goes. Turning there doesn't feel unnatural, it's good. A little bit cautious, I think, but you know, she's learning. And she's off. Give it some welly. so far. Nice distance from either side. It's good awareness what's going on. I think she's getting a little bit more confident in this now. and get it for the mud beater. It's a big tank in there. That's it. Good girl, give it some welly.
How was it? It was good. Yeah? I sucked at the beginning, but then it got better. Yeah, I noticed that when you were going around. At first, you seemed a bit a bit unsure of yourself, but yes. you had a lot of laps there. And uh, on the last few, you know, you looked good. Yes. And um, to, to go a little bit slower because I was like, uh, I was uh, accelerator happy. Yeah. And uh, I also had to be more careful because I wasn't driving in the center, so I was yeah. pulling the right side of the vehicle into the ditch yeah. slightly. Of course, I wasn't. So I said, remember, keep your ass in the centre of the road and you'll be absolutely yes. fine. Yes, um, and get in the holes very slowly. Yeah, yes. keep an eye out what's going around you. And you remember, press the little red things to the brakes. And I can just say, we running a bit low on memory card space, so I didn't film it. So he's just had a debriefing with Rita. Um, he's quite happy with her driving. She will be going out solo shortly. Um, that's quite a big honour here because they are letting her basically take the tank out on her own. So uh, they wouldn't do that unless they were 100% happy that, you know, she's not going to fuck this up. I yeah. mean, she's not going to mess this up. <laughs> okay, so uh, time for tea and biscuits, and then uh, we'll get ready for your first solo run. Yeah, Rita's just been called over. She's there to command the vehicle again. As she said, take every chance, learn what's going on. They're putting their fur paces, that's what's needed. <laughs> Love for the dump. Oh, smell of that engine. <laughs> there we go, it looks like the instructor got out of the vehicle and he's let Rita off on her own. Rita is now flying solo, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, no, nobody told me that, so I'd have been filming a bit earlier, but there we go. Where will she be going? She's going to be going anti-clockwise around the course, one guesses. Let's see how she's doing. Good, steady speed. Nice cornering there, it's good. She's like a learner driver, nice and smooth. Good girl. Going into those corners, beautifully done. Nicely done, comes to a stop. Good. Good go. For those watching, that's your Rita. She is entirely solo on the course. The only other person nearby is Robbie, the mechanic, hitting the nail with the wheels. It's not like she's under any full control. She is entirely doing this on her own. Let's have a look. That's then she's not tracking around the corner too much. Plum is centre of road, which is absolutely perfect. So just adjust back to the centre. Watch the train. Good.
makes the determination there. Rita's first solo run. And it gives you a little bit of. I'm quite happy to see Robbie, the mechanic, a man that knows just about every tank's inside and outside, confident enough that he's not going to jump out of the way or panic. It's a level of trust there, that's good. Well done, Reeds. Hello Aries, I hope you liked the video. I definitely enjoyed this day. I have to say that uh, two of my favorite moments uh, was when my first instructor, Nigel, um, at the time I didn't saw this because I was driving, but I saw this on a recording. He saw that Ed was uh, capturing the moment and he pointed down at me and then made a thumbs up, really like that. And the second moment was when the owner of the place, Roby, he actually trusted me enough to, gi to give his back while um, repairing one of the other APC tracks. And uh, basically he trusted me enough to park the APC myself near him. Um, all of this was recorded at uh, Juniper, Juniper's Leisure. And uh, I actually recommend all of you uh, to come down and uh, experience the drives yourselves. This is uh, an amazing place. They have APC rides, tank rides, and the staff is just incredible. Uh, anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed and uh, live long and prosper. Bye-bye.